everybody. Long time no see. Um, as predicted, uh, my order came today, my, the third order. I placed them um, from Kopf, uh, nursery in Germany. So it came this morning, but as usual, it didn't give me enough time to, to do a proper unboxing, so I waited until now. But I'm racing the daylight hours because it's getting darker every minute. So, I hope everybody had a good weekend. It's been cold and rainy here. It's gross. My first time ordering from them, so we'll see. Although they have something that I've been looking for for a while, which I should be getting probably in the spring. It gets a little warmer. Cheers, Roger. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for your order. Thank you. Okay. Got two, two plans from them. Oh, they're both wrapped together. Different than the other one I had for the same family. This is the, I believe, Jesus. Oh, no, this is the bubble film. You don't be able to read this. Bubble film, Varescence. I had seen this a couple months ago, actually, on, um, let me see it online. Yeah, so a picture of it. And I was like, what is that bubble filling me? Pretty sick flowers. Uh, the blooms, so let me get these sheets off. Don't you write it. But, um, yeah, it looks okay. I guess the pot's just for whatever. Um, yeah, so this is... Let's see. God, it's dark in here already. Jesus. Um, yeah, this is the plant, I guess. <laughs> How much was this, by the way? 35 euros. This looks like kind of like a back division or something, no? I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Although bubble films do come kind of like, like this, no? Oh, well, bubble film fluorescence. Unfortunately... I found out later on that um, I, I I actually didn't even look into it because I didn't care. I, I just was in love with the blooms. Um, it's actually pretty foul smelling, apparently. And uh, you'll see, I think in the picture I have of it, uh, there's a fly on one of the on the one of the blooms that should have clued me in. But yeah, so bubble film fluorescence, really cool flowers. Take a look. This is the um, Cirquinia marsupialis. This one is Cirquinia marsupialis. I have the Cirquinia fibriata. Fibriata? Yeah, um, looking pretty healthy. Nice. Seven bulbs, four bulbs. And um, pretty healthy leaves, looking okay. I think maybe gotten too much light because it's a little bit yellowish. It's got the yellow tinges. Either that or it's um, dehydrated. But so I'm gonna probably put this one in a in a basket also, like the other one with um, 
with some Orchiata bark and maybe some sphagnum on top. Or Orchiata and um, Ceramus mix. That's a good one for them. Things that have the uh, pot up in bark, I like to use the, the Ceramus in there. So, because the Orchiata bark lasts so long, it's not like regular bark that used to last like, what, like two or three years. This could last like probably four, maybe four or five years. Um, and why would I want to put, you know, sphagnum moss that decays, deteriorates in like a year with something that, that's going to last like four or five years? I'd rather put something like ceramics, which is kind of indefinite, and um, that way it'll last as long and longer than the, than the bark for the, for the next repot. So, and it seems to be working. Uh, it's good, the ceramics. It keeps like more moisture because the orchiata doesn't, which is probably why it lasts so long. It doesn't, um, it doesn't really hold that much water, at least especially in the beginning. I mean, probably like the more you, the longer it's, you know, you, it's in the pot and the longer, the more times you water it. And little by little, it starts to retain more water and that's, but like the more, as it retains more water, that's what makes it break down. So the reason it doesn't break down so quickly is because it doesn't hold that much water, but it's a very good quality bark. It's excellent. Probably the best around, I'd say. Um, all right, so yeah, this is so King of Marsupialis, also beautiful flowers on this one. Let's check them out. See, now this is the other one I had, this, the Sifkinia fimbriata. See? It's a little bit different. Um, the leaves, the leaf shape is different, even. These look more like, like Gongora leaves or Stanhopia leaves, whereas these look more like, I don't know. <laughs> but they don't look like this one. So yeah, Sifkinia fimbriata, and this is the Sifkinia marsupialis. So yeah, nice. Now we'll see about that bubble foam. Uh, this thing better be like, you know, yeah, because I'm not too convinced on the bubble foam, but we'll see. But again, I only have like three of the bubble foams, I think, so I'm not that, you know, familiar with the, the species themselves, like as far as what it should look like and what, you know, condition that it's in. I mean, you can see it pretty much like, you know, Macranthum got to me like that, but it had like, you know, six or seven actual like bulbs this is only like three but we'll see i'll put it up and you know time will tell um this is the nursery by the way cough yeah and um okay so that's that oh i did want to mention i don't know if um any of you are subscribed to um my green pets the channel by uh, william green um really cool really cool He's, I believe he's in, no, I don't want to get this wrong because I'm not sure now. I want to say Canada, but, I mm, don't know, so scratch that. I'm no, I don't know where he is. He's not in Europe, though, I know that. Um, no, he's in the U.S. I think he's in the U.S., I think. Anyway, um, he proposed, in his last video, if you check out his channel, proposed a sort of orchid community, YouTube community project, um, which would be... Pretty much, it's it's called uh, My Orchid Collection in 60 Seconds, basically. On a set date, which is February 25th, um, whoever wants to participate can make a video that's 60 seconds long, um, give or take two or three seconds, you know, it's not gonna be perfect. But um, pretty much describing it however way you want with images, with but, uh, completely up to each individual YouTuber um, to, you know, represent Something representing your orchid collection in 60 seconds. Uh, whatever you want to present, present. And everybody uploads it on the same day, on, the, on February 25th. And um, it should be pretty cool, pretty interesting. I think that was a, an amazing idea. That was such a good idea. So Roger then spoke about it on Sunday on, in his video yesterday. And I wanted to mention it today, since I was making a video today, I wanted to also mention it that um, anyone who wants to participate, it'd be great. And check out My Green Pets channel because he's got some really amazing orchids and, and stuff. And it's a cool channel, he's a cool guy. So, um, yeah, my orchid collection is 60 seconds, February 25th, any YouTuber who makes orchid videos uh, wants to join in, it should be great. And it'll be fun to think about it, 60 seconds. You could watch, you know, in a half an hour, you could watch more than 20 people's thing, and you're getting, you know what I'm saying? And you might see people's collections that uh, people, YouTubers that you've never seen or heard of before. Um, it could be a, a really nice opportunity to, to, you know, for the orchid community to, to do something together in on the, the orchid, YouTube orchid community. 
So, um, yeah, keep that in mind. Mark it on your calendars. February 25th, my collection in 60 seconds. And, um, what else? Um, I said, okay, I'm gonna show you how, just quickly how I fertilize and water a couple of plants, and, um, and we're good. Let's see. Okay, here's what's here. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do, Oh, it's so quiet. Oh, yeah, I blow the fans off. I'm like, why is it so quiet in here? <laughs> okay, here's what I do. Oh, the wine is optional. Okay. So, I have these five liter bottles of water that I refill with uh, my osmosis water. And then I use. Yeah, this is a uh, first raise orchid fertilizer MSU type for pure water. It's got one for well water also. So I use one quarter of a teaspoon for five liters of water, which is uh, five liters. I think is about one and three quarter gallons. No, one and a third gallons. I was saying one point three gallons, more or less. And the recommendation I think is a teaspoon a gallon or a half a teaspoon a gallon, but. Whatever, so I'm, I'm using, because I, wa I fertilize that every water, um, I, I use a smaller, about half of half of the dose. All right, so then, uh, this, it mixes right away. Like there's really no wait time. Oh, this, I bought this to, um, I'm gonna use this for semi-hydro for the Bayalara Marfish Howard's Dream, because it's, Look how I mean, it's got literally like eight pseudo bulbs. If this thing doesn't divide itself, um, and I have to plant it just as is when I take it out of the pot, if it doesn't separate, I'm um, gonna need something like, look how wide it is that coming over the side of the pot already. So something like this is good, because it's about twice as wide as the pot it's in now. And um, yeah, so we'll give it a shot. Just finished blooming. See, so I have the two drainage holes. That's it. I'll just flush. It's called flushing. Every time you water, it's really flushing. If you fill it up quickly, I just let it empty out. That is sucking in fresh air into the pot, so it refreshes the whole environment inside the pot. Um, the exchange of gases, the, the wastes I mean, look at, that the roots put out and all that stuff gets flushed out. I have a brand new, um, and, you know, fresh, it's pretty much hitting the counter like to zero, zero, zero again. Um, they have a fresh atmosphere in there, refresh the water in the, that stays down here in the reservoir. And we're looking good. And that's it. That's it. It's that easy. And you know when you have to water because the reservoir is low. You don't want it to run down all the way, but if it gets down to, you know, when you see it like this, for example, see this, the bubble fill them. You can see, see the water's just about there, so this is gonna be done. If I don't want it to say it's gonna be dry tomorrow. So, yeah, just fill it up. And that's it, see, now it's just, these out by itself by the two holes, and a reservoir will remain at the bottom to wake up, and most of it will evaporate up off. But uh, yeah, that's it. This is gonna be a little more up because otherwise it spills. That's it, and so on and so forth. 160 some odd times. <laughs> that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, so that's how I water. Um, once, although once a month, you know, like one week out of the month, because they don't, don't get watered at the same time. It's like pretty much like within a week's time, if if the reservoir is not open after, if the reservoir is not dry after a week completely, like if it's not doesn't need watering yet, I'll water it anyway because after a week is enough buildup of bio load and um, just general like it's, it needs to be refreshed. So 
the water wise, fertilize wise, the, the air wise in there. So it's it's good to do it at least once a week. And if if it's not, yeah, do it at least once a week. Even if it doesn't need it, once a week's good. Except for the phalaenopsis. Phalaenopsis, I'll leave like two weeks. I'll let them almost dry out completely because, especially now that it's winter. So the ones that aren't new transfers that aren't on the heating mat that are over there, they uh, try not to uh, wait till they're like really low to water them. And then again, only water them during the day. Because I don't want them wet at night when it drops the temperature a little bit. And, uh, oh, and I have well, the tub here. can't see it right now. So one of my Vandas, Vandas and Vandacious type, Renacarins and all that. So right there, the garbage pail, filled with um, about 25 liters of osmosis water. Right, some fertilizer. And then like, I'll just take a Vanda that's hanging up here. Put them up there, carefully. <laughs> and, uh, she just lights up. See all those bubbles? Those are the roots rehydrating themselves. I pretty much I'll let it sit in there for a good 10 minutes. At least until the bubbles stop, until I still see any more bubbles. But um, I'll usually leave it a little longer. Because uh, it's good. And um, yeah, so everything else, pretty much. So we're ready. The Banfodara um, Gilded Tower Mystic Maze has started opening its blooms. Getting pretty sick. I didn't bother turning off the light now because I'm not really doing like a. I just wanted to show you that one. And uh, yeah, so that's that for this week. I think we're good for the week. We're done. Um, yeah, I don't have any more orders pending and anything like that. So um, yeah, remember, keep in mind the, the YouTube Orchid thing on uh, February 25th. If you want to be interested in joining, check out the My Green Pets channel or. Um, just like I said, you make a, um, a video 60 seconds long and title it My Orchid Collection in 60 Seconds and upload it on the 25th. And it should be lots of fun. I think so. So pass it on. <laughs> All right. Um, have a great week, everybody. Um, Poppy says hello. Happy growing. And I will see you soon. Uh, you know the drill. If you like the video, check below. La, 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 la. Love you, everybody. Bye.